In this SketchUp tutorial, I want to cover the basics of how you use the uh, camera functions. So down in the lower left-hand uh, corner here, I have the large tool set going, and you'll see that we have a camera, position camera, which looks like you know, a little man on a red X, and we have the ability to look around and walk around. So the image I have right here is just one of my scene tabs where I've been orbiting around. Uh, but when we, you know, look at it this way, even when we kind of zoom in and position ourselves, um, you know, it's always looking like we're on the on the outside, you know, we're on the outside looking in, sort of like a dollhouse or or that type of thing. Um, and this is about as 3D. Uh, as we've gotten, but putting a camera in has a really nice effect of making it feel like the viewer is there. Okay, so to put in a camera, it's really quite simple. We're going to come in, grab the position camera tool, and when we hover over the floor and just let it think for a second, you'll see that it says on facing group, which means that we'll be standing on the floor. So it brings me right into the space. It's pretty, pretty quick and easy. Once you've done that and you've kind of float it into the space, you'll see that your cursor looks like two eyes. That's the look around function. So I'm able to, well, in fact, look around. And I can turn, basically pivoting on the point that the in-camera was inserted at. Okay, so that's the look around function. The eye height is at six feet. If I want to change that number and have the camera be higher or lower, I can simply type in, for example, eight feet. You'll see that I'm up quite a bit higher, and then I can look down, or change that back to six feet and look up, and that type of thing. So you can really customize this quite a bit. The walk around function from the large tool set allows you to move through the space in a fairly predictable way. Um, if you try to scroll with your wheel and um, you do it that way, it's going to have some very confusing effects. So this, this walk around function uh, works pretty nice. So I can back up, move around, get a view that I like, go back to the look around, look up and down, and that type of thing, and get something that I'm very comfortable with. Now, if I wanted to change the camera, the field of view a little bit, I can do that. I can go up to camera at the top and go into field of view. You'll see that my value control box in the lower right hand corner changes. It defaults at 35 degrees, um, and that's very, very comfortable. Um, but if you do want to tweak that a little bit, you know, I could say maybe 45, for example, hit enter. And you're starting to get a little bit more of that fisheye kind of blown out look. Uh, so that can be very effective if you're trying to get into a space or make it seem a little bigger or something like that. Uh, but it can have the effect of being too distorted and stretched out. So I made it even a little bit bigger there. So um, I'm just going to put it back to 35. Uh, but just be aware that you can change that, although I think that it can have some kind of nasty effects if you're not careful. Okay, so that's, you know, putting in a camera, either walking around or looking around to get it how you like it. Now, once you get a view that you like, don't forget that you need to go up to your scene tab, right click, and update, or you're going to go through all that work, and when you move away from that scene tab to another, it'll be gone and you'll have to do it all over again.